Here's something fun to talk about. Mm. Hammerhead flatworms, you heard of those? Yeah. Well, they're right now spreading their way into our yard this summer, but East Texas experts say a lot of people don't know what they are. I didn't. Yeah, they look like aliens, really. <laughs> KETK's Tori Bean talked to the experts and tells us what you should do if you find one. Tori. Neil Casey, hammerhead flatworms live in hot, humid climates and are commonly seen during the spring and summer. During the day, they can be found under rocks, in gardens, and even in greenhouses. But you may not know what to do if one slithers in your path. Rochelle Helms lives in Noonday, and while gardening in her yard, she came across something unusual. I saw something moving I thought was a worm, and then I saw the head on it, and I thought, oh my gosh. That's one of those I've been seeing on, on Facebook. So I, that's when I put the pot down and got the little bin so I could collect it. She had found a hammerhead flatworm in her yard. Now she is worried to let her dog outside. I don't like them being toxic. I have a little dog um, and she loves to lick everything. Um, and so I don't want her to get sick and die. Helms had heard the worm was highly toxic to pets, but the Texas Invasive Species Institute says that's not completely true. It'll make your animals feel sick for a day or two. It doesn't cause anything more severe than that. They're also not harmful to people. Unless you're allergic, then you may get a reaction like you would with poison ivy. Texas A&M AgriLife says it may not be toxic to you, but they still wouldn't recommend you touch them. Trying not to um, touch them with your hands. I would just get some like forceps or something. Experts say if you do come in contact with the hammerhead flatworm to wash your hands immediately and get rid of it. You can seal it in a bag with salt or spray it with vinegar, but never cut it in half. They will regenerate so you can just end up creating more creatures instead of less. You may not hear about the hammerhead flatworm often, but they are known to be in northern, central and eastern Texas since 1901. The fact that they've been here for so long and we really haven't seen it any sort of negative impacts yet, <laughs> I would say no, that there is no worry. If you find a hammerhand flatworm, let somebody know. Send a picture and the place you found it to Texas A&M AgriLife or the Texas Invasive Species Institute so they can keep track of the population. In Tyler, Tory Bean, KTK News.